I think for this office, one of the advantages we had is we came into being at the time that, for the first time, foundations were really losing resources. They had lost huge parts of their investment portfolios in the downturn in the stock market. And so they, it really made it impossible, and it didn't take Michigan philanthropy long to, to say, it just doesn't make sense for us not to be partnering even more with each other as well as with government as a leverage opportunity. And we've been fortunate that over the years, from what I have seen, that many of the foundations, um, staff have had relationships between them, you know, people have gone from one foundation to another, and foundation uh, CEOs, for the most part, have been willing also to sit at the table in partnership. I think the fact that we've had a strong regional association has helped that tremendously, because I think that has uh, been one of the ways of convening foundations around issues to work together, and the various affinity groups that we've had within CMF. Well, I think um, there are there are a number of ways. I, I mean, that's one of the things that our office do, does, is that we sometimes are the ones who say to Rob, we need to have a briefing or a conversation around this issue. Or we need to bring multiple funders to the table to sort of get on the same page <laughs> around this issue if we can. Sure. Uh, I can tell you multiple stories of that happening here, okay? Um, from the start of this office, and I know it has happened on larger projects like around um, how the tobacco tax settlement got distributed through community foundations here in Michigan, yeah. or how the AIDS fund was set up here in Michigan, you know, um, but even through my own office working with the Council of Michigan Foundations and Michigan funders. When I first started in this position, we were very much trying to make sure we aligned our work with the CMF Public Policy Committee. And so we held joint briefings around early childhood. And we reached out. We had folks like Marvin McKinney, who was considered an expert on early childhood at Kellogg. But we also knew that we had these family foundations called Ready by Five, who were doing their own thing around early childhood. And we created a convening, bringing the new governor into the conversation conversation, and it was at the time that all the brain research was being shared across the country, um, saying, hey, it's those first three years that matter. Uh, and so we had someone present on that, and we encouraged our all of our funders to come. And when we got a little bit of, I don't know, from some of our smaller foundations, our community foundations, and our uh, family foundations, uh, we encourage them to bring their community partners, their nonprofits, their school district people they were working with on early childhood. And we invited all of the various agency people into the room. And what we found is that just by having people in the room to talk more together, they could see ways to partner and to work together. And so it was amazing to have Kellogg people talking with you know, a, a small foundation out of Southeast Michigan about early child, childhood. 